Hey guys, this is Kathy from Kathy's Jewelry and Crafts. You know I'm trying something new, right? Well, I am. I'm making a greeting card on cardstock. And it is so adorable. Look at that. So it's going to say happy birthday. It's going to have black leaves, um, red flowers. That is so adorable. I can't wait to get this. Look how fast it goes. Okay, it's writing happy birthday now. I decided to go with a blue instead of the orange that they had. So it'll match the border. This is so cool. Once it's done, I'll just cut it off and I'll glue it to the front of the card. And then I'll continue with the rest of the card. I'll probably just leave it blank on the inside though. This is so cute. All right, it's coming up with the B for birthday. There's only one more color change, and it's going to be pink for the little flowers on top of the stems. All right. I'll come back. Just adding the flowers. It's almost done. It's only one minute to do the flowers. I think there's only five little flowers. I'm going to be making a lot of cards because this is really cool. This is the picture again of what it's going to do. And we're down to the last minute. 400 more stitches. regular car stock. I'm not sure what weight this car stock is, but um, there's two pieces of stabilizer in there. Um, I did use tearaway. Hopefully that won't be a problem. You're not going to see the back anyway, though, because I'm going to go into the car. Um, this is one I had done. I messed up. Well, I did it on the stabilizer, and all the videos I watched said they do like a basting stitch or a placement stitch first. This one does not. <laughs> you have to put the paper down. So I did this on this, and then I started thinking, well, how is it going to connect to the card? Because the pretty stitch is what we want to see. So I had to rehoop it, and um, and that was, and um, yeah, so that's this one. It finished, look, it tells you finished embroidery and you can say, okay. And those were all the different stitches we did. This is so cool. I'm gonna take it off the hoop and then glue it to the card and I'll be right back. Wow, that came out really nice. All right, I'm going to paste it to the card. Here's the finished card. I think it came out nice. I gotta put something on it to weigh it down for a while, but it's on there and then I can either leave that blank or fill that up with something. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.